grateful that you stay there. The final this morning says public debt sustainable, but large external debt makes economy vulnerable. That's the governor of the Bank of Ghana talking. Uh, so a lot of weight on that. The media review budget, we're told, uh, to raise more revenues to complete government agenda and raise scoping of cocoa roads and other road projects to uh, con commence. Those are some of the stories here. Now, the BNFT says government ponders new ESLA bonds. Uh, that's in connection with the energy sector uh, debt. And uh, the BNFT also carries a 200 million debt stock shows economy is vulnerable. That's the, um, uh, the Bank of Ghana boss. So on the finder, the public debt sustainable, but external debt makes economy vulnerable. Uh, that same story gets some paid on the BNFT. FT. My guest to do the talking this morning, member of parliament for the Adaklu constituency, member of the NDC, Honorable Kwame Abuja. He said, Kwame, good morning. Good morning. And uh, the, the picking of nominations, how did it go in your constituency? I went very well. Mm. Uh, anybody who uh, feels he or she qualifies uh, to contest according to the criteria, picked forms and submitted. So we leave the rest of the process to the guidelines and the constitution mm. of the party and the country as a whole. Voting is 20, August 24th. 20, 24th, okay. Uh, right. Uh, you shared that information with us. And then the MP for Futu, a member of the NPP, Honorable Alexander Finjumar, can say, good morning, too. Yes, Hope you're doing good. The, the NPP central region is in, it's, it's not too um, calm, as you put it that way. The, really, what is it that is missing? The, the, the attempt, the um, suspension of the chairman and other issues, what is missing? Nothing really. You say it's not too calm. It will be calm. Mm. But um, it's not too calm now. It will be calm. Okay. Um, well, uh, <coughs> internal issues uh, when it comes to politics, mm. I mean, it's all over. It's not limited to one particular uh, political party. Mm. But to me, uh, just as uh, this morning I'm reading a call by Mr. Sami Jemfi for party members to use internal, if you hear, read this one. Mm. On the, on the Ghanaian time this morning, NDC, page 11. Yeah, page 11, NDC uh, is uh, saying that disgruntled NDC parliamentary aspirants had to use party structures. So you see, this is uh, the position of uh, functional executive committee of NDC, you know, urging party members to use the internal system. So uh, same way, um, there would be issues here and there. Mm. Uh, so. I believe that whatever concerns that uh, my, my, my colleague, uh, uh, the five, first vice chair, may have, would have to use party uh, structures to resolve it. I mean, we don't need the buzzing of people and all that. And I also urge those who may want to sympathize with situations to also uh, hold their horses. Uh, we don't need to be getting into the media. I mean, part, internal party matters are mm. resolved internally. I think that is the point. Uh, this week, Mr. President is touring Western and Central region. Um, this is about his fault in the UK. And he doesn't believe in the fanfare, waiting for election year and now visiting chiefs. No. If you follow, Mr. President has been very consistent following up on projects. To me, one good thing about this tour, especially for those of us uh, along the coast, is the uh, London Beach project. Because throughout the campaign, one thing that the fisher folks kept telling us was the London Beach. Anytime we had storm and all that, they had difficulties. Hmm. And to them, that would enable them to go about their fishing uh, without any uh, my difficulty. So I'm very happy mm. that the CDB facility, which was capped, and for the avoidance of doubt, I'm taking you through the history. In 2015, the then government came to parliament to cap the CDB. The CDB was originally supposed to be three, mi three billion, mm. but this uh, NDC government said, look, considering its priorities and its challenges, because they were losing a lot of money as a result of uh, predisbursement penalties. So they came to Parliament, Finance Minister made a case to cap it. 
in other words, they were limiting themselves to uh, 1.5 billion and letting go the rest. What this government did was to reactivate it, say, look, we can put in place the mechanisms to draw down the rest. After all, Parliament had already um, approved Approve the, the, the So percentage. they initiated the process, came back to Parliament, and I can say on authority that today the contractors to undertake the phase one, and if I say phase one, I'm talking about the first six communities that are going to uh, benefit from the landing beach. And let me highly commend my good friend, uh, George Anda of uh, Ewutu um, uh, Senior East constituency. He made sure that he advocated because even Senior, Ewutu Senior was not part. You know, he, he filed a question on the House floor and followed through, and I can say that a, a senior has now been added. Ewutu senior. Uh, yes. Uh, no, no, I'm talking about the senior community. Just, okay, yeah, that's senior. Ewutu senior. Ewutu senior, yes, right. has, has been added. Uh, Winneba is benefiting. Mm. Uh, Maury is benefiting. Axim is benefiting, mm. at least. From what I've seen, um, the, there's going to be a clinic, or a hospital, mm. um, a, a modern fish market, a coastal, with other facilities around. The 16 months within which this project is going to be constructed, job opportunities will be there. Yesterday, at least, I saw uh, uh, the con consultant mm. uh, in Winneba with his team trying to uh, mobile, I mean, uh, do some feasibility um, uh, in Winneba, in I mean, for the, the, the labor um, for the project. That mm. Those uh, technical staff, masons, carpenters, steel benders, heavy duty drivers, uh, lightweight drivers, uh, I mean, on all that. So at least uh, we've seen that this is going to happen. And Mr. President is in the central region to assure them that he's going to uh, get this thing done. In fact, his first meeting with the chiefs at the House of Chiefs after his election, even before the swearing in, he made that announcement that, look, it is part of the MPP manifesto, and we'll see to read that. It is done. So it's good news for okay. us. Uh, Ghanaians want projects. Mm. Ghanaians want uh, a better economic condition. They want to see more. They want to see, of course. So at least... This, this adds up to it, and it's not going to be his last. The man is working, is uh, uh, keeping to his manifesto promises, and Kwame will tell you that even areas that they thought we could not achieve, make, make, make success, we are making uh, water in his own community. Of course, I cannot raise this submission, you know, without talking about Which free SHS. Oh, okay. Of cool. course. I mean, it is benefiting everybody. <laughs> no, no, okay? no, no, it is. Are we implementing free SHS in certain areas? It is not, living it at is the not area? benefiting private uh, fact, school students. No, 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 but the but issue is my public, my public schools. Oh. It's yeah. benefiting. Yeah. It's a matter of choice. Yeah. If government is, you know, uh, making facilities available, hmm. if you go to the secondary schools, people prefer going to the public schools than... Uh, private schools, not so. Right. Saint Augustine's, Presec, Achimota, mm. uh, Adisada, Wesley Girls. Tepa Senior High School. Tepa, yes. I mean, these are all public schools, mm. and they Saint Peter's and all. They are all public schools. So if you have an option to go there, and you say you wouldn't go there, when government is taking the cost, and you would want to go somewhere, it's a matter of choice. You want to? Okay. Do that. Let me get Kwame so, to react. Oh, then. That, 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 yeah. that, that is happening. The, the president is in the central western region. Yes. Honorable Afi Makin is talking about the landing beaches and the fact that uh, the president wants to make sure that these projects are properly. Okay. Implemented. First of all, I want to uh, thank all, uh, I mean, say hello to all your cherished viewers, especially mm. those viewing from uh, Adaklu constituency. I want to say congratulations to one lady, uh, Dr. Uh, Akushika uh, Akwe Ando, uh, a mother of two, a married woman who actually did uh, the family very proud by uh, uh, getting graduated as a PhD holder at, over the weekend at Legon. I think she's uh, an inspiration to all women who, who shouldn't use marriage or having kids as a basis for not pursuing their lifelong mm -hmm. goals. I think she's a, a good uh, example. Um, 
Bright, uh, the president or in Western region and Central region, obviously, uh, President uh, uh, Mahama has been touring uh, those areas, and any time the Western president and a half region, yeah, uh, uh, tours certain places that uh, the pres current president thinks there's a problem, he tries to go and do damage control. That's the big issue about cocoa farmers currently in Western region in terms of price and the hardship. And uh, since President Mahama has gone to address it. Obviously, he must quickly go and do damage control. But on the specific issue of uh, the, the landing site and other things that my brother talked about, this is the original document and the project, we call it project eligibility under the CDB agreement. I agree with him when he says that at a point in time, we needed to cap it because of the monies we are losing out of lack of disbursement. We're not, they are not disbursing the money yet. We are paying penalties. So it's true that we came to Parliament to say uh, temporarily, let's suspend uh, that so that we can fall back on it later and mm. I'm not surprised this government came the, uh, uh, unlike when they opposed it those days no uh, the they record. opposed it uh, the claiming time, claiming uh, claiming no no the last time uh, uh, cla the claiming last time. claiming the no. cost and other things no. in fact no. I have seen no. I have seen okay 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 I have seen I have seen loans I have seen loans in parliament mm. whose cost last week are more than what the CDB loan in terms of percentage will be taken but the, the, the important point I want to make here is that it has never been the dream of NPP to do anything about those projects. These are the eligibility uh, projects under the CDB. And I, 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 I want to mention them. Western Corridor Infrastructure Renewal, which includes um, Takradi, uh, uh, Kumasi, uh, Dunkwa, uh, Waso Railway Prairie pra Line, which is one of them. Western Corridor Infrastructure uh, Project, Takradi Port to Fit. Uh, Second D Free Zone Project. Uh, shared infrastructure and utility services, Accra Plains Irrigation Project, uh, coastal fishing harbors and landing site redevelopment project at Axim, Dixkov, Elmina, Weneba, Monfort, uh, Senya, Manfort, Senya Breku. Okay, hmm? this is Senya Breku. Senya Breku. Okay. Jamestown, Teshi, Tema, Ada, Keta. The question is, these are projects that were, were earmarked under the original agreement. How come we are only handpicking some of them currently to the extent that there are, pr there are areas that are in the original agreement this government have decided to ignore. And so when you begin to uh, thank uh, 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 our colleague Anda for, 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 for forcing... Or, or senior Wutu. Uh, no, no, it's not Senya Wutu. It's so, Senya Breku. Okay, okay. So uh, uh, then we all missed it. It's, it's Senya Breku. Senior Breku. Because we are saying so, okay. so, so it has nothing to do with our colleague doing anything special because it has always been and I, 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 no, I an said understanding. it was part of phase two. Kwame, if the, you misquote the, me this way, what would it be? Kwame, Kwame, with uh, respect. Please, let's, let's situate the agreement. Let's, right. let's clear this. Kwame, yes. Uh, uh, George fired a question. Mm -hmm. If you recall, the, in, in the minister's answer, mm. the senior Breku uh, 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 enclave was part of phase two. I commended so him have been part on of this the phase six. one. Exactly. Okay, so it, it's on the program, but because of his lobbying, it's it found it's of in phase one. Exactly. Of phase two. And then at first okay. the funding source okay. was different. Okay. Now this is what you had for eight years. No, no, this is what no, you had for eight years. CDB loan wasn't there. 2010. I don't know if Let's make progress. Let's make progress. The point, the point, you change the narrative and make it propaganda. The point I want to make is that. I don't know if you're okay. Let's make progress. The point I want to make is that the original project didn't have Senya Breku as phase two or anything. They were only projects that were supposed to be undertaken under this. So, as a, as a member of parliament, I would I will give it to him when he says that he came to file a question in parliament. I filed a question in parliament about that, that water project. Up to now, nobody has turned up. So, nobody should take advantage of this and say that it's because of his question that, that this project... But the other ones here, mm. the other sites here which are supposed to be developed, which the government isn't interested in, in taking up under this. And then to go, uh, to go on, the Eastern Corridor multimodal project, which includes upgrading of Volta Lake uh, uh, ferries and other things, the pontoons and many other things, Akosumbu uh, Bupe, which are all projects that under this, which and the government this particular project. exactly, which is ignoring Western Corridor gas infrastructure project, which of course we know that much of that one, where, uh, the 1.5 billion ha has built. Why? Because when we built the Atuabo gas plant today, it is not only about landing site at Keta or Ada. Everybody is benefiting from. From that, so we took the right decision that even though all the money was not being disbursed, 
Would this, the one that was disbursed benefit everybody, including TV3, this morning because we are producing gas for, for the entire country? I will leave that one there. There are many other ones, the Western Corridor, Petroleum Terminal, the Western Corridor, Enclave Toll, uh, uh, toll Road Project, Accra uh, Metropolitan Area, ICT, which is one of the things that was uh, activated uh, uh, recently. So the point I'm trying to make is that we have a lot of projects under the CDB that will benefit a, a larger number of people in this country which the government is yet to activate. They were handpicking the ones that they think can give them electoral uh, uh, advantage. But it's also part of the, 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 the scope of work. I don't have a problem mm. uh, with that if they go on to do that. But I have a, a small problem, uh, which, I mean, he talked about the uh, Western region. I have a small problem. Uh, you know the, uh, uh, the national identi ident identification card that thing that goes to Volta region this week? Volta I've, region. Yes. I've noticed something very dangerous that is happening. The NPP appears to be in total control of the, uh, 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 how do you call it, the National Identification Authority. To the extent that the selection of the people who drive the process, their accommodation, everything, are being operated by known party people in Adakru and other areas. This is dangerous. Where the people sleep and they, they basically handpick the people. And to turn this to an open political agenda in an area like Volta region, you are basically trying to create problems. I thought it should have been an independent process left in the hands of neutral people. But to, to wake up to realize that, they were, they, I mean, the, the names and the, the selection that you can't be part of it because you're not part of us, Giving the party in the voter yes, giving the party no. In fact, it's region wide. I mean, they, 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 I'm told they had meetings as to how to recruit these people, and I'm saying that it's not it's not right. It doesn't give confidence to people that this is a national agenda. This is obviously we knew this is a skewed pro, a process to think that they would do this and use it as a, uh, 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 to extract the voters' register. But we will wait and see whether we can get that. But if you call it national ID card, currently it appears to be a registration for an NPP card, but in the name of a national ID card. Th that is very dangerous. I don't know whether I should encourage people to go and do that today, knowing very well that when they go through the process, where the person will be sleeping or people will be sleeping is, uh, is, uh, is organized by NPP uh, uh, and known NPP people, and the process will be driven by that. I think it's a very dangerous thing. But, but, does, it, does it... How... How difficult is it to find out that the, the people involved in organizing these are, uh, 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 if the way you put it, party activists? Is, oh, well, is it, it is very it, obvious. I mean, the, 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 head, uh, the head himself, which the professor, I mean, nobody can tell me he's hidden. He's, uh, everybody knows, everybody knows, I know, he's an NPP activist. Uh, uh, his uh, utterances appear to be uh, uh, so. The, the defense they mounted when ordinary forward-looking Ghanaians queried some of the processes was almost in, in line with what the government says. So it is not as if they have their own independent view about, about, about this. It's just a, a repetition of what uh, the NPP says in, in terms of uh, these things. And the crust of the issues that people have raised are still not addressed. To today, I am saying a vast majority of Adaklu cannot generate digital address because the, 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 the telephone connectivity in the area is poor. The internet isn't there. So you are, and are, are you saying that when you go to Adaklu, you are going to arrange, uh, you are going to allow that in the whole town, they could use one address? Is that, is that a fair assessment? And if that begins to happen, will you see NPP coming to say that, oh, these are fake people from Togo? You understand? I told you just not too long ago, when you were standing in my house at Adaklu, they will tell you, welcome to Togo. That is what it is. Now it is improved a bit. But other areas are still in the same. So at exactly what is the, 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 the basis of uh, these things? And those questions have not been uh, 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 addressed. And lastly, this is going to be worse for a member of parliament than the limited registration. Why am I saying this? The areas they've uh, identified to do this are the, the few, uh, you call it, uh, areas that have got access in terms of routes and other things. Yeah. But there are a large number of my people in hinterland that needed to be moved to the center so they are not registering in their place of abode so whose job is it going to be to go and bring them from wherever they are they are currently staying to the center to come and register i think this is a wrong a wrong thing and guess what they're not going to be bothered the less number of people registered in voter region or areas npp perceive as uh, as uh, uh, not doing well in terms of electoral uh, advantage the better for them that is what they are intending to do so why are you, we have over 90 communities. How many communities are they doing this? And it's not supposed to be limited. It's supposed to be for everybody. I think the plan they've got doesn't wash. It will not work. It will get 
ask the only to register only few people mm. and that is not good enough okay we'll, we'll try and get the nia to to uh, answer a few questions but a mm. quick a quick okay, reaction sure, and then we'll sure. move on. quick very quick uh, yeah, yeah sure uh, right uh, first of all in opposition in 2010 the minority mpp did not oppose the cd okay. facility okay rather hansard would bear me out that Dr. Akotose, who was leading the charge at the time as ranking member of fin on finance, rather expressed concerns about the pre-disbursement penalties. And in fact, it's these concerns that landed them in trouble, which they kept for so many years until they decided to come and pack a uh, carpet. Again, you see, when Kwame created a certain impression that, oh, something was in a pipeline and it's happening today is nothing new i find that uh, a bit mischievous and i explain you don't support the 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 continuing thing we've been talking no, I'm about i'm saying that when you have an opportunity for eight years and you state as a fact that although you have earmarked these two for consideration you cannot do them you see the net effect of carpet was that it is no more. Is it not planning? It's planning, not passing. I'm, of the I'm saying that. I'm saying that the fact that within eight years that the air party had, they had certain projects in mind. It was not eight years. I'm so, saying that you had an opportunity to rule for eight you're, years. You're talking about the previous government. Yes, okay, the NDC's right. eight year mandate. That some of these projects were year mandate. No, they were not part of eight. As 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 part of the plan you were supposed to undertake this project in 2010 after the after you signed onto the law. No, I'm not saying that. Okay, okay. Kwame, you you I'm note saying, it now. I'll okay. get you the uh, I'm few minutes that, to react yes, and yes. wrap up on this. One. Now we're you had eight up, years. So move to the public. You had eight years. You abandoned this and you kept the first line. Said you were not going to pr proceed on that path again. That is a net effect of they coming to parliament to say we are capping at 1.5 billion. If you cap, it means that you are not going again. That the records are there. All right? So don't turn around and say that, oh, uh, this government is picking and choosing. Please, with all due respect. Are there some of the projects on, on, on that uh, 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 facility that have not been or not in the current the, phase? The government... The, he, he mentioned some projects. Are there in, some? In the master... Please. Mm. The master plan they had, right. they have a list. Okay. Which lists we've had even in the Kufo time. So are there some project on the list that this government says that it's doing phase of. one and two and it's a matter okay. of record. So to take care of all the projects on of the Of course, list. it is listed. All the projects the on minister, the list. The minister was in parliament. Mm. Please. The minister was in parliament and said that I'm doing phase one and phase two. Mm. We're talking about funding. Okay. Phase one and so, phase so two. So if under phase the one. The thing is that under phase the, one. Would the phase one and two take care of all the projects on the master list? On on page, phase one and phase one, and, phase two, mm. will take care of additional. The, it is not okay, limited. It's even additional. To, exactly. Okay. Because so, so let's move on. Yes. So let's move on. If if you if you pick it from that angle that oh these were already there. I mean, with all respect, okay. it is not that is wrong. Now let me also quickly. deal with. Oh, no, let me deal with the, uh, uh, the 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 issue of the the registration, the Ghana card. You, you have an idea about what's happening in the. No, I'm room. saying that I would address. I will address it in the moment. You see, he as a parliamentarian. Are you speaking for the NIA? I am saying I'm responding to the issue. Okay. I'm responding to it. So okay. let me Go respond. Ahead. In parliament, he knows that our rule frowns on anticipation. There's something called anticipation, he knows. You see, you don't come on TV to authoritatively, on authority, say that, oh, NIA is doing something and they want to deny the people of Water Region the opportunity to register. He's basing his argument on certain facts. That he what, are, what are those he facts? He says it's his constituency. Speculation. There are places where there are, there, there are no internet connection. No. He didn't. That's, that's, he, not, he said that's, that's not how he that's connected. No, he, he said that. That's he not said, how he connected. It's, it's one of the things. That so it is a deliberate attempt. It, no. no, no, that's what he said. And that's where I wanted you to correct it. Mm. It shouldn't be me. Mm -hmm. You as a host mm -hmm. should have corrected him. That you cannot sit here. You, he, Kwame cannot sit here and say that the NIA and for that matter, the government, is deliberately 
denying the people of Walter Ridge the opportunity to register and have Ghana cards. That is most unfair. That, that is very speculative. That is a partisan, political, convenient statement. It, it, and it shouldn't it, be the case. Can it not be his view that since the argument is that you need to generate a, how did they call it, um, a GPS address, be, and there are certain areas that you cannot, because there is no internet facility, he cannot express the view that... So you it, now it, have it, an app to find his mind's construction? No. You have an app no, to find his mind's that construction? It, 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 That's what can, you're doing. Can he not express no, that, that, you that, that, okay. that view? You can express that view the, and ground the, same on fact. Mm. You can express a view, mm. but once you are premising it on speculation, it's untenable with respect. The, Other than that, anybody the, can say anything. I can sit here this morning and say, the, right, you are this, you are that. No, uh, I, the, I should have the okay, basis okay, to say that. this. Okay. Wrap up for me. So, so you think that his argument that certain areas can you you can't find internet then so it will be difficult to generate a gps address you think that that argument is not a legitimate one with respect to say that there will be difficulties is one thing that is legitimate but to say that there's a deliberate attempt by government to deny them is unacceptable okay and that is where you should have asked okay. him to retract uh, 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 no that is his view uh, uh, Kwame, All right, so, no problem. So yeah. now this is a platform for speculation. Uh, Kwame, yes. so his argument is that, yes. okay, so it is true that in some of your areas, mm -hmm. you cannot, and not only at that clue, mm -hmm. uh, some parts of All the, over country, the country, you, you cannot generate a, a GPS address. His argument is that that should not be um, a, a reason why you would say that government is deliberately denying some people the, the, the chance to... Not some people. We said the people of water. No, no, it's That's not everybody. It's just, it can't be everybody in the water. Uh, so uh, so the then water. repeat no. exactly what said, he said. I said some people. Oh, right. I raised... Right. Right. I don't know if you're marking. Right. right. But I'm making this marking. too obvious. I don't know if you're marking. And it's consistent. I don't know if you're marking. The, it is not the water region that are places that have internet connection. In fact, there are NPP members everybody. in water region so yeah. as well. So they will find yeah. a way of registering. So it. some people of the water region, uh, the GPS, uh, 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 the Ghana ID card, he says it is not good to say that deliberately government is doing that. I raised three core issues. First, Issue one, I, said, yes. mm -hmm. I said the first one. Yes. Is that, I don't know if you are not is reacting that to this. I am, I am well agree. meaning Ghanaians have raised this issue about telephone connectivity, which you require to generate a credible digital address, not only in Adakru, even in, in Accra when they were doing it, mm -hmm. this issue came up. And I'm saying that in areas like maybe part of his uh, constituency and uh, part of other uh, rural communities, including Adakru, it is even more worse. And at the point in time, when I stand in my house in Adakru, it tells me, welcome to Togo. Issue two. You understand? Issue two. And the, 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 the NIA has failed to work on this has never been able to address it that they are working with a, 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 a minister of communication to address this they ignore it so i'm not sure why they are doing it it can only be deliberate because the defense that the nia boss and npp communicators bring mm. appear to be the same from the same script so this can only be a government position being espoused by by the nia too <laughs> i said the process in, in volta region at least is being driven by npp and i have told you that in my constituency we are told some people will come and stay with us and the people selecting where they will stay and uh, it is in, it's been done by known npp branch and constituency executives that's your constituency that is my constituency okay, that is a, that is the, 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 the second thing i raised and the third thing i raised is that it appears the npp that maybe that is the speculation he's talking about it appears that when you have about 90 communities in adaklu and all you are doing the the communities you are selecting to do this thing is less than 20. It is not in your interest for you to give a, a access to a lot of people in that because you probably get less than a thousand votes in an election. So they are, they are, it's not in their interest. And I'm saying that the rhetorics of the NIA boss and the NIA operatives, including their PRO and the MPP, basically suggest that they are not interested in registering everybody. And in fact, when they get, get to voter region, we predicted this is what they are going to do. So I don't know where the, my speculation is. I'm talking to you about what well, this morning. Can somebody tell me when you go to Adaklu, you can generate a digital address in every part of Adaklu? You can't. And that, that is a critical part of generating uh, 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 information required. So I ask the question, what happens if you go to Adaklu and in a whole community, 
all everybody came there with one digital address. Is that not going to be the basis for MPP claiming that all these people are from Togo? Since they are not able to address the situation. And okay. you can tell me that none of their, in fact, I was asking him, I, 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 I was going to expect him to tell me that there's no MPP person driving the process in Adaklu. Then I'll well, give him he, the news. He, he's not from there, so I... Okay, so... He, no, 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 so no, 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 you're not going to if, answer. If the person... Oh, no, 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 30 seconds. Okay, okay. quickly. Although you allowed him to flow. And you, uh, you go ahead. Go ahead. You see, I want to ask and you a very seconds. simple question. Mm. Yeah. If you go to an NIA facility and you find a known NDC working, would you have an objection? That is one. Two, is there anything wrong with somebody working at NIA and you knowing him to be an MPP? Is he not a Ghanaian? Is he not supposed to work? Is he not supposed to work? You see, you see, you don't oh, deliberately okay. create, you don't deliberately create such scenarios for your own convenience. Then you turn around and talk about unemployment. Okay, uh, the, the uh, man uh, is not supposed uh, uh, to work. Make, I'm, I'm grateful. Yes. I think you've asked the, the questions. He, he, uh, no, I, no, it's rhetorical. I don't okay. want okay. you to answer. Let's this is, let's move this on. is, this is uh, a very beautiful uh, question uh, to uh, the leadership. Let's move on. This is a very beautiful question to leadership of NDC that the next time you have access to power, don't make it look like supporting your own is a crime. I'm grateful. Because that is what MPP is saying that it's not a crime to recruit only your people to, to get their jobs. The finder so, this, the fi the the fi this morning says the government of the Bank of Ghana maintains a Ghana's public debt stock, which is raising the 200 uh, billion by May, representing 58.1% of GDP, is sustainable. However, he fears the large foreign investor component makes the economy vulnerable. So uh, it's a story that is well known. It says the, the, the debt is sustainable, but the economy is vulnerable to certain shocks that can destroy what we have. You know, for you, Martin, the, is, it, is it good news or bad news? Well, we are being cautioned to mm. act in a manner that would build the economy in a manner that Ghanaians will benefit so that hardship uh, would would be reduced. Why would the governor say that the economy is vulnerable? We largely depend on import. Mm. Okay, the everybody is chasing the dollar to do international business, trade. So the issue again now is taking steps to industrialize our economy and to me that is why the one district one factory initiative although it may not be going in that pace that people may expect but if we fully embrace it over time when a lot of industries uh, have been established and a lot of people are into the private sector and have confidence in it and are doing business, obviously our economy would improve, uh, reduce their dependency on, on imports, and the lesser the vulnerability. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a general caution because if somebody is coughing somewhere and you catch a cold automatically, then you have cause to worry. And is government going to listen? The, the 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 governor it is the governor of central bank who is who is talking and is government going to listen government has already taken steps and those steps include the initiative for the private sector why you, you, the one district one factory the effort by maslock the neip all the private sector initiatives Listen, I mean, recently, uh, Cocoa Board, for instance, look at the, the, the joint effort between Ghana and Cote d'Ivoire in trying to manage the world price of cocoa, get a, a single voice in advocating for better uh, 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 pricing and all that. 
All these are aimed at strengthening our local economies. But you see, if we continue to rely on imports, if we continue to uh, think that, oh, uh, others can do it and we cannot do it, then obviously you would have such problems. So I think that it's a right call for those of us in the private sector, it is for us to double our efforts. To me, the enabling environment is there. The enabling environment that we have to take advantage of. Mm. If you ask me what I am doing in my own constituency, for instance, we have 275 constituencies. I have a job in the future to work with my MCE so that we improve on the local economy in the future. We have identified that the informal sector has a problem with capital because they cannot go to the banks. So it's been one step moving here, trying to get support for them, training our people, getting them skills, and supporting them with capital. Last week, or Thursday, the Winneba Mobile Money Merchant Association, for instance, benefited from uh, 100,000 support, uh, private sector support, to enable them, you know, inject into their business and repay over three years. So these are small, small efforts, getting those who are using deep freezers to work, getting them that support and the high purchase. The support to the informal sector is key. And we are starting it in, in, in a futu. I know others are doing this in their various constituencies. If you come to Maslow, Maslow has injected no less than one million cities in the a futu informal sector. The economy in Efutu has received 1 million cities from Maslok, where petty traders got 200 Ghana cities, 500 Ghana cities to trade. Once we are able to hold our own, mm. and as we speak, we are also looking at a 1 million cities uh, uh, private sector support program targeting young entrepreneurs who have their own initiatives in Efutu so that they can start their own business. Once we are able to take them out of the job, uh, um, out of unemployment, mm. so that they don't also depend on government for employment and they're able to start their own, it is one major step at but, ensuring but, that we grow our local economy. But, but the Bank of Ghana thinks that all these, if he, let me just read two paragraphs of the story for you, and you will know what's on the mind of, of the Bank of Ghana, suggesting that. It, things are not being done. Dr. Addison warned of dark consequences if corrective measures were not taken to address the risk. And this risk is about revenue uh, mobilization. Then the committee goes on to say that the committee observed that the pace of fiscal consolidation has slowed down, mainly reflecting gaps in revenue mobilization, while the pace of spending has increased. And again, he said this could pose risks to macroeconomic stability if not addressed. So well, let me on, on the let mind me of the Bank of Ghana, let, let me things are not being done to deal no, with no, this don't, problem. Don't, don't pick it from that angle. Don't pick it from that Where angle. Where should I pick it from? Don't, 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 don't pick it from that angle and make it that simplistic as though the governor is criticizing government or government, government is not doing the right thing. Is it wrong for the governor to criticize government? Please, that's not what he has said. And no, I'm, I'm that, reading from uh, the news. No, I'm saying that don't say that. Now, let's situate the argument correctly. Quickly. No, not quickly. No, we, we so don't have people a lot of understand. time. Of course. We don't have a lot then of you don't ask the no, question. No, I'll ask. Time. Oh, no, I'll ask. You see, all of us want projects. Mm. I'll continue to cite your, uh, the, your, 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 your campaign for the construction of the footbridge at Medina. Mm. You do a program, you're asking of uh, roads. People want roads. Right. We want more schools. All these things are funded by the revenue or funds that the, can, can, the government uh, generates. Generate, okay? Through loans, etc. and all that. Now, what the governor is saying is that, look, there is uh, some mismatch. There, we have some imbalances there. Mm. So, let us make efforts in ensuring that we raise more revenue. Because if you are spending more, you are generating less, you put pressure on your, on your economy. 
there will be deficits. Obviously, if deficit, you have deficit, you are talking about creating imbalances in the economy where inflation may, may get out of hand, mm. where you are, you are going to uh, destabilize your microeconomic variables. So that's a basically the point. And this is a daily reality. How many of the, us... The, the, how governor many, is, the governor is one in government. Uh, please, I am putting it to please, you. Please, please. The, please. The, 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 can we, the, can the, we deal with the practical the, issues the, rather the, than your... The governor says this, the pace of spending has increased. Of course, because and, Ghanaians... And, and that, that's, that's Ghanaians, the warning the, that he, Ghanaians, he is giving. While the pace of fiscal consolidation has slowed down. So, that's so, the governor warning so, the governor. So, so, government is responding to the needs of the people. Mm. The people want more projects. The people want to see development in this social media world. You cannot, it cannot be business as usual. It cannot be. Within 30 seconds. Okay. Rather, let me go fire. to Kwame and come back to Now, you. what I think is legitimate, which you should support, is for us to get more patriotic in paying our taxes. Mm. For us to support government in its effort at generating revenue. It's for us to support the private sector. And I'm saying that if the economy of a future is good, if the economy of Ewutu Senya, if the economy of Suedro Apam, the private sector, the informal sector, is getting that needed uh, 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 support, and people can now do their businesses and are paying their small taxes. Who should give it that needed support? Not government? Of course. So that's why I'm the oh. enabling environment. Is I've just talked okay. about any IP. Mm. I've talked about Maslow. All right? The efforts being made for the private sector the informal sector of the private sector. I'm saying that if we continue in that drive, all right, you will see that over a period, government will be able to also generate some revenue. more revenue. Because if the private sector is doing well, obviously, private sector would be we'll able pay taxes. to get taxes. Okay. Government will get taxes and I, then to add up. I agree. So I you don't to continue you. to spend I and come back get to less money. Okay. I so don't say you. warning for... <laughs> uh, this, uh, do I say you? Uh, Pardon me. No, I can't say the, you. The, the governor. This man, too. This, this desperate, this desperate uh, is opposition man to try and uh, take advantage. Pardon the governor when says he, that. He had. He had. Uh, it is, but, okay. Right. It's I need oh, to, I need go to, to make, come back. I need please to note it. I'll come back to you. I need to make a point. Please, please note it. That I'll come back to you. Very please. That's fine. That's fine. So the governor says that the economy, the debt we have is okay, sustainable. We can. But he says the economy is, is in, let me put it his word, is vulnerable. Well, my you let him know that it's not new. My, my it's colleague, not that it has something to do with the economy. Please, no, no, no. You need to you, add it. No, no, no. I'm not going to add it. I'd like him to answer the question. I, I will be very happy. I'm not going to answer It is not your time yeah, to speak. I'll ask you before speak. you even answer. I want you to know that it hasn't suddenly arisen. I'm not going to answer your Please allow me to speak. What my colleague was expecting you to say is that the governor says that the government is doing very well and can continue binging on borrowing. But you didn't say that. You were rather reading the truth, which is that the governor cannot lie in some parts, in the sense that the figures are there. And I must give this tone back to uh, uh, Honorable Ato Forsen and Co., who always said that the, f the foreign exchange component of the debt we are piling will choke us because of the instability of the dollar and other things anyway. You remember they made a very forceful point when frankly T templeton who bought one of the biggest bonds mm. that the finance minister is we uh, we fingered him for being complicit we said that we want to know the details because one person or one group bought i'm told about 90 percent of the bond who is a foreigner when you are paying that person you are not going to pay the person in ghana city you are paying the person in in in, in, in dollar denomination mm. but this, when guess what they say no 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 that's all right now the bank of ghana is now coming out to say that in effect, that is what the problem is. But I think the Bank of Ghana uh, boss could not be correct in a sense that time after time, they are saying that our expenditure is more than the revenue. So which part is it going to be, is, is going to be sustainable? The, we all know the reason the Bank of Ghana and the finance minister keep saying that our debt is sustainable is simply because mm. of the, uh, how do you call it, uh, 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 the reassessing the economy 
which the re the re rebasing. Right. Because we work one day we knew we were all, we, 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 uh, we, our GDP was a certain amount of money and you had two CDs in your pocket. You woke up the following day, then they tell you the economy has doubled, but the, your two CDs is still two CDs. So the government quickly go, goes uh, on piling the, 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 the more debt. In fact, last week alone, we took a loan in Parliament, another $300 million loan for different projects. This week, that we have been scheduled to take more loan. The question is, of course, I agree with him. Everybody. We need, I, we need the project. Of course. Uh, uh, water projects, including Adaklu and other things. I mean, it's in abeyance. The five district, five district water project is still in abeyance. Just we needed 17 million euros, uh, euros to complete sending water to five districts. Phase one and two have been done. Phase three is in abeyance. But they are finding money to do those ones that, that uh, uh, concern them. Two, when, when you look at the, uh, the, 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 what he said, and I must commend him. When your government is in power, sadly, maybe the public may not hear what, what I'm coming to say. It appears that when your government is in power, then you have access to what government claims is sharing for everybody. You heard him say that Maslok has invested one million Ghana CD mm. in his constituency. The question is, as a media house, go and find out whether one million is being invested in every every constituency. We approach you. You, you understand? Okay. The, 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 you see, but Kwame, is, is Maslok not an institution you can go exactly. and attack? Uh, no, you see, I, I, when, we were, when we were in government, mm. I know, noticed that Maslok went around the country giving little support, 600, 1,000 cities, to uh, people in every constituency. At the moment, when he says they've uh, 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 assessed one, uh, one million, he's saying that they applied for it. Who says nobody in Adaklu, other uh, the, the constituencies, really apply for it? But let's we'll put, no, no, uh, no. let's put that one. Uh, 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 right. You can't that, that one. Oh, oh, oh. No, I'm not going to say that. No, no, no. He said nobody. Yeah, no, 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 and it's here to show dugouts as because it's raining, so the dugouts can exist. Don't forget in December we'll check whether those dugouts I think can, can uh, sustain. And have bastardized, and I heard you they do some that talks about a uh, 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 re rescoping of mm. cocoa roads. When you and I knew, government initially said that under President uh, uh, Mahama, cocoa roads were awarded without due process, that some of the roads didn't exist. That contracts were inflated two years after the investigation. They are no longer talking about those three things. They are now saying that they, they are now going to risk hope. My brother, the government through Cocoa Board and Cocoa Board Board took a deliberate decision to negligently destroy most of the roads under the 200 projects under the Cocoa Road simply because the contractors were on site, borrowed money from the bank, were on the roads working. Some of them have reached. Uh, Prama seal and all that uh, stage have been deteriorated now. So now, if they risk it, uh, uh, listen, it means government have to pay more. And I'm saying that one day, somebody, some people must be held accountable for this deliberate negligence that is causing, going to cost Ghana a lot of uh, uh, money. Lastly, so your your point is that you do not have the perhaps the auditing of these roads the report yet no they, they, and they, yet they, there is real scoping of of the work fortunately your... fortunately mm -hmm. the road minister came to parliament and said that they've completed sections and so far when we asked him question is there any evidence of roads which didn't exist which were awarded mm -hmm. is there any evidence of contract awarded wrongly is there any evidence of any contract inflated the answer is no so the propaganda by president akufuado and dr baumia and npp about coco road based on which road like uh, Sam Boy to Prestia, area where Ghana derives the largest quantity of cocoa in terms of square meterage was abandoned. Today, because of about 17 kilometers, which ought to be completed, then they abandoned it. Cocoa haulages, including himself, Needed to detour. I'm not, I'm not, need, okay, not, you are not detoured. You are not holding cocoa. You are used to do. You used to do bauxite. No, no, I get you. Fine. So and fertilizer. And fertilizer. Okay. 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 I will draw. I will draw the the, the cocoa. I add. I, I substitute that with uh, bauxite and, uh, and <laughs> bauxite and fertilizer. Okay, can go? <laughs> they need to detour 175 kilometers. What kind of wickedness is this? Hmm. And today, you, the Go Go Governor of Bank of Ghana, is saying that 
our debt is sustainable. If our debt is sustainable, go and complete, uh, how do you call it, all the food bridges on, uh, 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 we have. Go and complete every project that NDC have started and start new ones. Actually, go and complete Adaklu uh, water project. Our debt is not sustainable, my brother. The truth is that the money we have borrowed, we are here to see the benefit of the people. My brother, I don't know the area you live. I've seen consistent, uh, consistently, even existing road that needed to be maintained, the condition is worse. And I can tell you for a fact, the condition of Ghana's road network has never been worse than this in our history. So when the governor says that we are not in trouble, where is it? We'll see whether during the budget review, whether the governor is going to try to do any engineering to increase taxes. We'll see. So, so let me quickly read this to wrap up. According to the governor, new measures to be announced by the finance minister should help address the financing gap challenges, as well as manage the risk from the large and budgeted energy sector related payments. So for the governor of the Bank of Ghana, he's looking at perhaps a tax increment. No, no. You see, that, 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 tell him to rewrite that, uh, that script. That, no, no. It's, and, it's and budget, that no, no. Program. Unbudgeted. Mm. He cannot say unbudgeted. The three billion ESLA loan, uh, ESLA uh, uh, tax mm. that we, we instituted was supposed to address those things. It's simply because they use that money to pay for, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, 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 the other things and also leverage on that to borrow more money so that money is not available to them. So the, the, the debt in the, the energy sector could have been cleared if you were getting three billion uh, every 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 year. And on top of that, getting one billion dollars from the oil revenues which you didn't do anything for. NDC was getting less than two hundred million dollars uh, for uh, the same period in terms of oil revenue. You are getting one billion. So okay. where is this oil money? The oil money, you, uh, oil is booming. We are, it, it, quantities have increased. Prices have increased. Tesla, three billion, and all these things. Where is the money? Okay, I'm grateful. It's about two minutes to eight o'clock. Uh, sorry for for saying that you you hold it. Uh, uh, no, he's, uh, he's uh, not. Another thing, my case, not offended. He's just. It's just fertilizer and uh, bauxite. But maybe you are. I don't do fertilizer. Maybe you are. Professor, and very soon he may go into. Uh, no, I don't do transport oh. again. Oh, you've stopped. No, I don't do transport. Okay. Even better you, when you don't, you don't, you don't, you, you need to have direct control, <laughs> else it's another death. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Oh, but he's doing, okay. he's doing very well as, he, a, as a private business. He's happy for a foot too. He's an employer. So Alexander Fenyomakin uh, is from Winneba. Uh, that's his constituency, um, and then Kwame Agbaja is the MP for Adaku. Uh, an exciting, uh, yes, an exciting place. You, when you go to Adaku, you you see the mountains high up and you are down. Very, you know, very, very exciting. And uh, it, you get closer to nature. When in fact, we, we are hosting an airport which has been completed by President Mahama, which <laughs> the President Akufuado is refusing <laughs> to activate so that I can also get some people to Let me ask you, is, is it, yeah. you have reduced this platform to a propaganda. Oh, oh. <laughs> is it not true that the whole airport no, has no, completed? No, 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 I have not. Propaganda of comic relief. No, no, it's not. No, 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 no,